Welcome to the RFMW booth from IMS 2021. And we're here to take you on a bit of a tour of RFMW's booth to give you an idea of what RFMW and our valued suppliers do. First along the tour, we've got Tom Decker from Amplion who happens to be exhibiting at our booth this year to show off some of the finer products from Amplion as far as what their markets and applications are. Yeah, thanks Joel. Yeah, so we're showing a couple different things here. In terms of themes, we have uh, on the telecom side, we have some big power asymmetric Doherty devices. This one's particular at 1.6 gigahertz. But we also have a combination of integrated Doherty devices in both silicon LDMOS, as well as in, um, there is one gallium nitride device there that's a, a Doherty application. So these would be for, you know, small cell, pico cell, telecom applications, um, and so this is a certainly a, 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 a very important theme for us. The other one is in the industrial marketplaces where we are distributing or, or, or showcasing our art technology. This is showing here uh, 1.6 kilowatt and a two kilowatt. This is a class E integrated ballon in a multi-layer board. This is for 13 megahertz for uh, plasma generation types of applications. And then this one would be at 41 megahertz in a planar ballon. That would be for, again, you know, uh, plasma generation types of applications. So then over here, we're showing some gallium nitride and silicon carbide types of devices. These are broadband in nature. So these would be unmatched devices at 10, 30, 100 watt um, power class, as well as we have S-band, um, big power devices. This is showing a 700 watt device here in an industry standard package, you know, that's optimized for 2.7 two to 3.1. And then we are also working on a 3.1 to 3.5 version. And then here we're showing a two stage, uh, 2.45 gig type of pallet. This is a two stage driver that's driving a 250 watt output stage device. In summary is telecom solutions and integrated Doherty telecom solutions as in, in asymmetric Doherty, uh, as well as industrial types of solutions at like, low frequencies on uh, 13 megahertz and 41 megahertz, as well as silicon carbide on gallium nitride, or, or gallium nitride on silicon carbide types of solutions uh, for broadband and for radar applications. And that's the kind of product RFMW and Amplion work together on for applications both in industrial, military, and mobile broadband. Thanks, Tom. Next stop on the tour is with Steve Takaki, RFMW's resident expert on filter technology and passives. Steve is going to tell us a little bit about what's being displayed here for filter technology for multiple applications. One of the things that we did when we started RFMW was focus on filters, which is a very integral part of any RF design. The thing we wanted to do is make sure we covered as much frequency as we could. So. We have suppliers that have ceramic technologies all the way down to AM, FM frequencies, all the way up to companies like Cubic Nuvatronics who have E-band filters. So we've worked on technologies that cover that whole spectrum, whether it be ceramic filters from a company called Sang Shin. A lot of it is from 600 megahertz up to seven gigahertz. Then we also have saw filters from companies like Thai Saw and Shoulder who have typically frequencies from about 600 megahertz up to about two and a half gigahertz. We don't have on display here, but we have a lot of Corvo Ba products, which is the new hot products in the industry that cover uh, more like two gigahertz up to now up to five and a half gigahertz. So filters are definitely one of the areas that RFMW has been very focused on from a technology standpoint. Recently, we signed some new lines with higher level, higher order type filters from RF Lambda, Marky Microwave, things like tunable filters to help us get into more of uh, lab type applications. So we will continue looking for more filter technologies that customers need, want, in the higher frequencies, millimeter wave and above. Thanks, Steve. And it's, again, it's another example of the products that are from WSLs, both for military and commercial applications. Moving on along on our tour of RFMW experts, we now come to Kevin McCormick, our resident expert in our interconnect 
connectors, test and measurement, and coaxial components. Kevin, tell us a little bit about what we do here. Thank you, Joel. So um, at RFMW here, we have a uh, pretty extensive offering of high-end interconnect solutions coming from the higher-end solutions like a Rosenberger that handles everything from DC to millimeter wave to an in-house company like P1DB to companies like Carlisle, Delta, XMA, API. We, uh, I think one of our strongest points as a company is our technical expertise. Uh, my product team has got many, many years experience working within the RF and, and interconnect, the RF interconnect and test and measurement world. Uh, and we're here with, uh, with solutions for your engineers um, to solve your engineer solutions for their uh, applications. So I think that's a pretty good summary of what we do here at RFMW. Again, I think the strongest point we have as a company is our technical expertise in the area of interconnect and test and measurement. And I feel as though um, we have the solutions. Our job is to basically marry a technical uh, requirement an engineer may have back to the correct supplier we have on our line card. So having that technical expertise to be able to marry the two together, I really feel as though we're a big, a valuable asset to our customer base. Right, and that specialization and technical expertise goes throughout our FMW, both in our product management team, our sales team, and our product marketing team. Moving along in the tour of the RFMW booth of the RFM microwave components that we market and sell from our value suppliers, we've got John Hamilton, our VP of Marketing and Technical Marketing Director, who's going to talk a little bit about some of the things that we have in this showcase. Thanks, Joel. So what we have here are mostly passive devices. We have um, circulators and isolators from a couple of different manufacturers. RFCI does surface mount and coaxial devices. DITOM is uh, one of our manufacturers that does uh, only connectorized devices up to 40 gigahertz. Both have been extremely popular recently with um, high powered assemblies and projects. Um, over on this side we have um, a sample of our Carlisle uh, products, connectors, cable assemblies, um, swept right angle connectors is one of their uh, major products for uh, our customers. Um, down below we have some cable assemblies from Smith's Interconnect. They do a wide variety of high frequency and high performance cable assemblies. Um, moving along over to the left hand side, we see products from API Windchill and API InMet. For all your test and measurement, uh, interconnects and components, um, API components are valued in the, the test setups and, and bench top um, connectorized devices. So RFMW can, uh, can support any of your block diagram, test and measurement, inbox connector assemblies. Um, we have a full gamut uh, from basically DC to 110 gigahertz. So anything you need for the test and measurement and or inbox applications, we can support. Next up, we have Leonard Pelletier, who's our RF power expert. Some of you know him as RF Leonard from his blogs and from his contributions on social media. Leonard's going to talk a little bit about some of the products that we have here in this showcase. Yeah, so I recently joined RFMW, and I'm the RF power expert, if you will, and I represent some of the active device manufacturers that we carry on our line card. One of the largest ones we have is NXP. They are mostly known for their LDMOS products, but they do have a large series of uh, third generation GAN devices that are available for cellular infrastructure 5G applications. So that's a serious portion of our line card. We also carry the Corvo products. They typically have both GAN and gas devices, and they tend to focus on higher frequency pieces. So if you're looking in the 10 gigahertz range for our power devices, then we have Corvo. And we always have Smith interconnects for our power attenuators, or maybe even some of the other components that they make. And lastly, micro semiconductors. So they have some RF power devices. They're somewhat of the, I want to say, legacy generation. So that's just some of the examples of the RF power amplifier components that we have at RFMW. And we're happy to be here at the IMS show for 2021 in Georgia. And again, an example of the products that we offer. One of the recent additions is Marky Microwave products, who have uh, joined the RFMW as a really valued supplier within the last few months. And Marky has lots of unique and innovative RF products and microwave products for millimeter wave and RF and microwave applications. 
So in conclusion, you can see that RFMW is the center of all your RF designs and the best source within the industry for some of the most valued suppliers in RF and microwave components with a technically competent sales organization that can help you every step of the way along your design. Thanks for joining us at RFMW.